Welcome back to Unicorn Funland. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Michaela Andromeda, and I am here to do your monthly reading for August. We're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull about five cards. Spirit is um, guiding me to pull five cards. I've already put your mojo here. Okay, so we're gonna just, we're gonna do it this way. Leo, Leo, Leo. I already put your mojo on the cards. Oh, we're going to catch flyers. Big stack of cards came out. We're not going to use those, but we're going to keep on shuffling. The Mercury Retrograde, guys. We're almost there. Too many cards. Start on the 26th. Please carry around your Red Adventuring. All month we're going to be retrograding. All month of August, okay? Leo, Leo, Leo. What will you have us know, Spirit, on the bottom? What will you have us know for Leo for the month of August? This is Leo season. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Three cards. Two more cards. Spirit guided me earlier before I started this video to just do five cards. I think that's what I've been doing for monthlies. For, for well, that's what I did last month. But we are going to be intentional about it this time. Five cards. Two more cards. Spirit, what else does Leo need to know for August of 2018? That's what Leo needs to know. They said two cards. Two cards came out. We're going to go with these two cards. Put that one first, and that's going to be our final. This is going to be our advice from the universe. That's what they said. That's what we're going with. Okay. Leo, for the month of August. Okay. Participate, guys. Participate in spirit. This is a month to participate in spirit. Do what you love. Find some balance in your spirit. Find some um, some time to meditate, guys. Please find some time to meditate and to clear your mind so that you can balance yourself. Um, four is always going to be about balance and stability. This is the four of fire. So this is stability in your spirit. You will become stable in your spirit if you participate in spirit. When spirit, God, the universe, Allah, uh, Buddha, whatever you want to call the higher being that is watching over each and every one of us that we come from, if you allow that to move through you this month, there's going to be something great that happens, okay? So I already see one card flipped over, and so I'm already kind of seeing what's what's in store for you at the end of this month, towards the end of this month. But uh, spirit wants you to participate. Spirit wants you to be a part of it, be a part of the oneness, be a part of the all that is so that you can get your treasures. Oh, yeah, because there's a harvest coming in. There's a harvest coming in for you, Leo, and it's going it's going to come in um now it's going to come in fast because you've been brew it's been brewing. It's been brewing up to this moment. It's been brewing up to this month. You've you've already put in work. That's that's old old news. You you've already gained a following. You've already gained um um uh, people who admire you. Like you have you have a community of people who are following you, who are admiring you, who love your work, um, who love your your writing, who love your books, who love your your music, who love your your um your your gardening and your lawn care. Um, these are just things that I'm being pulled to, Leo. Um, your the the fire the fire inside of you is being stabilized. It's like it's reaching some kind of height. It's reaching some kind of culmination that is resulting in this ripeness this month. And it, it again, I will always say it, guys. I'm not about fluffy stuff. I'm going to tell you like it is. But what I'm seeing is that spirit wants you to participate. Spirit wants you to pay attention. This is always going to be about, hey, hey, I want your attention. Spirit wants you to pay attention. Spirit wants you to pay attention because there is a harvest coming in. And ripeness means that it's ready. It's ready. It's done. It's ready. Okay. It's ready for you this month already. It's already ready. Okay. So don't, don't be in sorrow. Don't. Because there, I'm seeing uh, things coming up this month. I'm seeing, for some reason, I'm seeing cancer, whether um, the, the disease of cancer or a cancer that you're going to have to deal with. This is an air, a air card, so it's not really has to do with the card. It's more intuitive. That's coming through to me right now. So um, whatever cancers that you're dealing with, whatever um tumors of your soul that you're dealing with are going to need to be dealt with they're going to they're going to need to be removed they're going to need to be cleared 
they're going to need to be um, renounced. They're going to need to be disposed of. These sorrows need to be disposed of. This is not you. This is not where you need to be, okay? Because during the month of August, this is your time to shine, Leo. This is your time to shine like that bright, beautiful, strong, courageous lion that you are. And you need to just be with it instead of being sad, okay? Be with your light. Be with the sun because the sun is shining on you this month. Not just because it's your sign, but there there are there are events that have been leading up to this moment that that you have been looking for and you've been preparing for and you've been waiting for. And now there's like a, a burst. There's like a burst of, of freedom. There's a spark of freedom that is happening within your heart. It's starting within your heart. I'm seeing somebody needs to open up their throat chakra. Somebody is not speaking. Some of you Leos out there are not speaking up for yourself. Speak up for yourself. You have to speak up for yourself. If you don't, nobody else will speak up for you. And if you feel like you don't know how to speak up for yourself, then go find somebody who knows how to do it and, and ask them for pointers. It's okay. You can speak out. You can speak your truth. Because after, this is the card that was upwards. After you open up that throat chakra and you start being, and, and stop being all sad and stop and, and, not allow this to get the best of you that sor I'm sorry I'm sorry guys I'm sorry that it happened okay I whoever needs this message I know you will get it I know you will receive it and you'll understand I am very sorry that it happened but it's over it's over okay because this 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 is coming in the middle of the month okay this is coming in the middle of the month so once you I'm telling you remember my voice when, when you start feeling all of that sadness and that sorrow in the middle of the month, guys, drop it. Drop it because it's time to celebrate, okay? And you, there, there is an importance in sitting in our pain and understanding it, but drop it. When you, when you see it, when you feel it, when you feel it coming on, just recognize it and drop it. Let it go, okay? Because you're moving on to something new. You're moving on to a moment of celebration. You're moving on to a brand new job. Somebody is going to be celebrating a brand new job. I'm seeing a lawyer. Somebody's a, a, a lawyer or a, a pediatrician. I'm seeing lawyers and pediatricians who, who are moving on to new jobs, who are uh, who are starting their new jobs. Somebody just graduated from college. Somebody just finished their master's degree. Somebody just finished their PhD. Um, somebody has finished something and now it's time to celebrate this month. Okay, towards the end of the month is when you're going to start seeing this energy of celebration. Uh, for some of you, this is a general reading, guys, as always. All right. So here we have clinging to the past and this is this is this is the end of the month. I would say like the last couple of weeks. And this is all this is all moving into it's all it's flowing. It's flowing into because it's not gonna be this is the first week, this is the second week. This is all flowing this month. Oh man. Whew. Flowing towards the end of the month, there's there's something that you are holding on to, even if it is this celebration, even if it is the party <laughs> that you had that you're holding on to. Um, that's not necessary. You don't have to hold on to it because you're you're ready to move forward. You're ready to empty your cup out. You're ready. You're ready to um, be able to to make sense of this chaos instead of holding on to instead of holding on to grudges instead of holding on to emotional attachments um there's somebody who is holding on to an old love attachment guys come on let it go let it go let it go somebody has been dealing with a pisces somebody has been dealing with an aries this is not a fire card somebody's been dealing with a pisces an aries some leos are dealing with other leos i'm seeing a scorpio also and some cancers so whatever, whatever this attachment was, even if it wasn't just a love attachment, even if it was you just thought somebody was your friend and now you now you guys aren't friends or you guys used to be really good co-workers and colleagues and now it's just, it's not the same. Let go of it because if you clinging on to it, that this is all that's going to happen. You're just going to be in turmoil. So let it go. Advice from the universe. You're being called to something. You're being called to something. Something is pulling you. Something is pulling you. I'm feeling a passion. I'm feeling flight. And I'm seeing butterflies. I'm seeing somebody who, who is a butterfly keeper or a, um, a collector of butterflies. Somebody who just likes butterflies. I'm seeing butterfly stickers on somebody's notebook. Um, that the butterfly 
represents a form of freedom and represents a form of transformation. So transformation in freedom, freedom in transformation, and you are being called to transform and to become free and become and to be and to come into a place that is beyond illusion. You're coming to a place that is beyond illusion. You're coming to a place where um you you are reaching something gosh like you are really reaching something i'm really interested in seeing who this resonates with uh because th whoever this is resonating with man you, you've you've been working very 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 hard and it's ready it's ready it's ready and for some of you i'm seeing that you're receiving this in the beginning of the month like within the first two weeks of of august okay but you're something else is pulling you the work is never done yes you've done some work you've done a lot of hard work but the work is never done and so this this pull that you feel the call that you feel the call to purpose that you feel the universe is telling you to feel it and to be with it run with your illusions <laughs> run with your illusion run towards them fly like the butterfly and be free be free this month be free to experience this month. Be free to experience something new and something cosmic. I'm seeing outer space. Somebody, I'm seeing astronauts, like like literally astronauts or people who are studying to become an astronaut. Somebody is studying NASA. Um, um, somebody is studying space suits and how they work, okay? Whatever you are being called to and pulled to, the universe, advice from the universe, the universe is saying, go with it. Go with whatever you are being called to. Leo, my friends, this is a general reading. <laughs> if you'd like to book a reading with me, my information is down below. It's highpriestessmikayla at gmail.com. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop. That's also down below as well. Um, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling some really strong phoenix energy from you this month leo it's your birthday happy birthday leos even if you're a july leo and i missed your birthday happy birthday and i hope you have a beautiful day a beautiful week and a beautiful month all love and praise to the universe within me and without me i love you leo and i will see you next time bye